Uh, yep. Ugh. I hate my internet. Uploads be so bad and my freaking computer did an update and shut down when I was doing it earlier, so I had to re-update. Not re-update, re-upload, so it just wasted everyone's time. Piece of crap. I hate Windows. Why can't I be a real man and pay $2,000 more and get a Mac? Oh wait, because I'm a cheap bastard, that's right. Ew, the Best Buy Gamer Magazine gave Candle Inch 2 a 5 out of 5. I wonder how much, or oh, 4.5 out of 5. I wonder how much they were paid, because the game, I played it. It, it sucks. It's short. Not worth my time. Oh well. But I can't believe, like, Microsoft's gonna raise their, um, Xbox Live subscription fees. For, for, for seven long years it's been the same price, now they're doing a price hike. So that's just showing that, um, Microcast is just fucking like, oh god. They're selling, oh, they just want more money. There's no reason for them to raise prices at all. They just want more money. It's fucking bad. And now, I'm not gonna renew my live. Not on it much anyways. I haven't had a reason to. But yeah, that's fucking dumb. That's how the world works, sadly. And just like Microsoft did that to the world, they're doing that to Rare. That's why Rare's never gonna make ever a good game. Anymore. Yep. I know there's all the Rare fanboys back on Windows on Nintendo, but that was then. Back then it was cool. Now it's not. Like, the Xbox 360 Banjo 2 was bad. I didn't like it. The models of all the characters were weird and looked bad. I should have just kept it the way it was. Yep. Especially when Rare closed down their fan site. Now that was just them saying, alright, well, we don't care about our fans. We want money. You know, because we're Microsoft now. We gotta do what we gotta do for money. Yep. That's right, I'm just hating while this happens because I have nothing better to do. Cause I fucking hate YouTube and, uh, and the Windows because my uploads always fuck up. That's why I do it at night. Because it goes smoothly, doesn't interfere with anything, but no. I just didn't want to do it at night. Yeah. I gotta go turn off automatic updating. I swear I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. Ugh. I hate well, many things. And what also thing I hate is how they're making Tales of Graces F, the PS3 one, like they did for Vesper, where it has more content, so it's obviously going to be better. But they still haven't brought the other one over to freaking, like, North America. If anything, they would probably bring just Graces F, because, well, I don't know, probably bring the PS3, they'd get more money, because PS3 games cost more than a Wii game, but I think 10 or 15 bucks. Actually, I think it's like 20 bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's over, but we're not done with cutscenes, so yeah. Welcome to Chapter 4. Grande Volse Brillante. And my dog's in here, so it's gonna bark, so yeah. Back to the people's here. It's winter. Welcome to Canada. And look, there's Beat, alive and well. Son of a bitch. Oh look, Polka didn't die either. Wow, big surprise. There you are. I've been looking all over the place for you, you know. Oh, hi, Beat. I'm sorry about that. Hey, are you thinking about Reto and the others? You don't have to worry about them. I'm sure they're all okay. Besides... Reto's not the type to croak from just falling off a bridge. Of course not. He's like a rat. They'll never die. You have a point there. I'm sure you're right. Thank you, Beat. Still, we were pretty lucky back there, don't you think? If we hadn't been picked up by that Baroque ship, I don't know what would have happened. He would have died. Plain and simple. Like I said earlier. 
Thank you so much for helping us like this. Don't mention it. It was nothing. Is there any way we can repay you? You did save our lives. Yeah, you've already done so much for us. Is there anything we can do to help out? <laughs> this little squirt here can wash dishes for you or something. <laughs> She's short because she lost her pirate hat. <gasps> hey, no fair! You can't start calling me little squirt just because my hat washed away. Sure you can. <laughs> At least it sounds like you're all in good spirits. But I'm afraid there's nothing you could help with. Really, you should probably all just get some rest. Oh, and allow me to introduce myself. My name is Crescendo. I suppose you could say I'm the captain of this ship. Huh? Cre 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 crescendo? Gee, that's kind of a tough name to say. And you're, because you're retarded, Couldn't Beat. Can I call you something else? Something easier to say? Beat, please, don't be silly. Besides, I thought you said you were good at remembering people's names. <laughs> I must say, you're very young to be the captain of a ship. You're a captain? Hey, hold on now. This guy doesn't even have a hook or an eye patch. Hmm. There's no way he's a real cat. I like his expression. He's like, the fuck? I'm sorry, Captain. I apologize for her rudeness. Hey! Maybe I'll just call you Captain for now. I could remember your name, no problem. But you need to show respect to the ship's captain. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to call me whatever you'd like. Really? Can I call you Don't Wear White after Labor Day? Well, Captain Crescendo, thank you for your kindness. Then again, it's not Labor Day yet. Rest as you suggested. Aw, sound asleep because she doesn't have a hat. I wonder if Allegretto and the others are all right. I think I'll go outside. Maybe some fresh air will cheer me up. Hooray! And now finally we get to play a character again. It's been a while. I swear to God, it's been like 30 minutes. So yeah, we can control her now, but first thing I'm gonna do is end off the episode. So yeah, next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata, we will Enjoy the Baroque ship, so I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.